delivery. <laughs> Somebody order delivery. <laughs> this is a vision of is this is our vision of the future. That rather. <laughs> That's a vision of the future. Cities with a well-balanced transportation mix where micromobility plays a major role. I just happen to believe that in order to get there, the best way is a subscription platform with vehicles designed specifically to address different customer needs. My name is Manuel. I'm the founder of Beyond. We are a micromobility micro subscription service in New York City. I'm an industrial designer as a background. I've been doing this for over 20 years. Um, I brought more than 50 products to market. Uh, and I mention this because I think it will really help you understand who we are at the core and beyond. Now, with 69 a month, our customers get to take a vehicle home. They keep it, and we provide free service and support. The vehicles are light and portable, designed specifically for urban commuters. And we've been doing a subscription service for over four and a half years. And we got really good at it. We got more than 70% gross margins. More than 50% of our sales come from referrals. We spend an average of 70 cents per vehicle per month on maintenance. And our vehicles stay on the road for more than 30 days. Now, that's great for business, but it's also the best way to reduce emissions. On a per mile basis, we produce up to 15 times fewer emissions than other alternatives. But running a subscription service is not easy. You really need the right hardware and software to operate efficiently. Our vehicles are designed specifically for this model. They are easy to service, maintain, and recycle. And all our vehicles come with a GPS-enabled lock. This allows us to find a vehicle if it gets stolen, and also provide us very valuable riding data. But at the core is really the platform that we build. It's software that allows us to manage customers, to make sure that we get paid on time, and they get the best service they deserve. That we can also track our vehicles so we know where each one of them is at any given time and we keep a very detailed maintenance record. Now in this time, we got a lot of requests for a delivery vehicle. So we're introducing the Cargo One, a vehicle designed specifically for delivery workers. We believe that a small front factor vehicle makes a lot more sense in dense urban areas. For example, in New York City, the average delivery distance is 0.8 miles. And 95% of deliveries are for a single address. So a big bike just doesn't make sense. So we made the cargo one light and portable so it can be folded, taken in the train, and brought up to the apartment when they get home. Other features include removable battery to extend the range, a phone charger, and of course our GPS lock that makes it super fast and easy to lock and unlock the vehicle at the point of delivery. In New York, there are 100,000 people actively doing delivery at least once a month. And on a weekly basis, more than 5,000 people download a delivery app with the intention of start doing delivery. We're a small and lean team. I run product and vehicle operations. Paola, she comes from Amazon. She runs our customer team. And Tal has an M&A background, and he runs our business side. At the end of the day, what we build is a subscription platform with its unique hardware and software. We started here with a scooter for urban commuters. We believe that fully developed, this is a $200 million business. But what if we had another, another vehicle for longer commutes or another vehicle for short deliveries? Now, each one of them is on vertical with its own P&L, adding to the top line and sharing resources to reduce cost. Then we get on more verticals, different vehicles, different applications, new market opportunities. And that's how we feel that we can become a billion dollar company. It's not just about the vehicle. It's the platform, and it's the whole system working in harmony. I believe that we can reach this dream by leveraging the platform we built and our ability to quickly design and bring to market vehicles to address new market opportunities. We're raising $5 million to bring the Cargo One to market and grow our commuter business. Now, keep in mind that we never raise an equity round. We only did convertible notes for just over $2 million. And with that, we brought four hardware products to market. And we built a successful subscription business. Now imagine what we could do with the right resources. I mean, that's why we need your help. Thank you. Awesome. All right, hands together for Manuel. OK, two minutes and 30 seconds, kicking off now. I feel like in the micromobility space, a lot of vehicles look quite similar. 
and margins and success of companies as a result of that are determined by differentiation and unique kind of value. So you, you, you've got a platform that can be used across these different vehicle types, but what do you think makes your vehicle truly unique for the use cases you're applying it to? Yeah, that's what I say. I don't think, I don't want to get hung up in the vehicle because I don't think the vehicle per se is the solution. But if you put the vehicle in a, their vehicle in a bigger mix where the vehicles are thought out to work perfectly in that ecosystem, so let's say our platform, all our vehicles are thought from the beginning, how I'm gonna make it, how I'm gonna get it from China to here, if I'm gonna be servicing this vehicle for three years, how I'm gonna do that in a way that is efficient, so I just pay 70 cents a dollar. So all the thinking that goes into the design process makes that vehicle different. However, each vehicle, customer facing wise, they need to address that need and need to be the best at it. That's why we have a vehicle design for commuters. That's why our bike is folding light and portable, so it's specifically for commuters. That bike that might not work in suburbia. So each vehicle, different, unique, customer facing, on the back end, they all need to be streamlined. Things that you don't see really, but they're streamlined in a way that you can be efficient. Now, what is the difference between the subscription product for a delivery driver uh -huh. versus a commuter? Is it the same or are there different problems? No, no, no. So on the back end, we share a lot of components. So we share the same battery, controller. There are different, many things that we share, especially on the operational side. But form factor wise, it's different. You know, the commuter is live, portable, fold it very quickly, take it with you, wherever you go. This is slightly bigger, but on that context, it's better than a bike for that context of urban, dense urban areas. So right now, New York's delivery market is heavily uh, e-bikes used, right? And yeah. curious, how are you finding adoption? Why are people choosing to switch, if they are, to this model? Yeah, so the major pain point, this is what we learned. You know, we've been doing this for quite a while. So we talked to a lot of people. We put this on the road. The number one pain point that delivery workers have is they don't know what to do with the vehicle after the shift. 